or send it to me at johnmbrantingham at AOL.com. Or if you like, if you're brave, if you can do this, you can put it in the comment section down below. In any case, I'll give you whatever comments I have. Tell me what you'd like to, to hear, if you'd like to, to, if you'd like me to suggest some improvements, or if you just are sending it because you'd like to send it. And um, I, this is, for me, this is almost always a successful type of poem. Um, this is the apology poem. And the most famous one I could think of was William Carlos Williams' This Is Just a Say. And it's one of my favorite poems. It's wonderful. And it's wonderful for a lot of reasons. The apology is part of it. Um, it's also got a single stressed line, which is also a part of, of the, the fun of the, the, the poem and what gives it the feeling that it has. And I'm not going to talk about that this time. I'm just going to talk about the form of the apology. The apology always has two parts. It has the naming of the sin, the problem, whatever, and the asking for apology, right? Those two parts working together. Sometimes they're switched, right? Um, very often, there's a level of insincerity to it, which uh, there is here. Um, and it, it ends up being a really beautiful thing. So I'm going to read the poem, and we're going to talk about it just a little bit. Um, and the poem goes, uh, I have eaten the plums that were in the icebox, and which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me. They were de delicious, so sweet and so cold. And... Um, okay, so he, he's literally apologizing for, for what's going on. There's a level of irony, right? There's a little level of rubbing it in. And what we have here is, uh, like Hemingway's iceberg theory, we see the tip of a relationship. And what's underneath the, the, the water, that, that iceberg that, that lives underneath the water, is uh, a level of hostility that he has to this person that he's apologizing to. There's a fakeness to it. Um, he's, he's rubbing it in. It's beautifully done. Um, okay, so um, I don't... Don't, don't expect that you're going to have William Carlos Williams uh, level poetry. You might, who knows. Uh, what, what you, in fact, you don't, don't even try to have this level of poetry. You don't want to be perfect. Perfection is your enemy. It's not the goal, right? Perfection is that thing that sits between you and what could be good. But uh, look, look, try, try to write this poem. You're going to start off by uh, naming the, 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 the sin, whatever that sin is, perceived sin, and then you're going to apologize for it in some way. You can just say, sorry, or you can say, I'm sorry, and, or but, or however, whatever, however you want to do that. He's saying, I'm, I'm sorry, and they were great, right? With rubbing in it. Whatever you want to do, that, 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 that's great. Um, okay, and then send it to me, and I will give you whatever comments you, comments you like. Um, also, uh, starting today, if you'd like me to focus on some concept, if you'd like, if you, there's something... You, you're, you're worried about, you've been thinking about some creative writing concept in either poetry or fiction. I don't do creative nonfiction or screenplay. Um, uh, ask me about it. I'm happy to, I'll do a the next short video on that. All right, uh, I will see you later. And uh, 